The predator is the perfect hunter, but not every predator is born equal. From the Central American jungle to the LA cityscape and beyond, let's go through their evolution. The predator first appears in 1987's Predator, featuring his trademark dreadlocks, silver armor, advanced weaponry, thermal vision, and cloaking abilities. He hunts down a series of army personnel in the jungle before going head-to-head -head with their major. After revealing his large, noseless face with distinct mandibles, he gets hit by a stump and chooses to self-destruct. Predator 2 introduces a new, more colorful Predator, with bronzed armor and his face, when shown, is steeper and heavily fanged. After getting mixed up in an L.A. drug war, a lieutenant tracks him down and takes him out. This prompts his fellow Predator clan members to uncloak and pick up their defeated friend, with the eldest member honoring the lieutenant with an antique pistol for a fair fight. The crossover film, Alien vs. Predator, features three heavily armored Predators with unique masks who set out to hunt a pack of xenomorphs in an ancient rite of passage. While two of the Predators are taken out pretty quickly, the third one manages to defeat a xenomorph and marks his face in victory, leaving him exposed to a leaping facehugger. Apparently unharmed, the Predator teams up with a young woman to take down a queen xenomorph, only to be mortally wounded in battle. A caped elder uncloaks himself and rewards the human friend with an alien weapon. The Predator's body is then put on a ship, where it gives birth to the Predalian Chestburster. Aliens vs. Predator, Requiem, picks up with the Predalian, now fully grown, as he causes the ship to crash back on Earth. When he and a posse of facehuggers escape, a grizzled and scarred Predator sets out to confront the abominable combo. But whoever wins doesn't really matter, because the government nukes the city, putting an end to this crossover series. But the Predator franchise carries on with Predators, in which a group of criminals are dropped onto an alien planet to be hunted. Their opponents include a pair of tracking hounds, uh, whoops, I mean Predator hounds, a tusk tracking Predator that gets taken out by an exploding opponent, a bronze armored Predator with mechanical spying Falcon drone, who gets sliced by a sword-wielding Yakuza member. And finally, a large leader predator with a jawed biomass covering his bulbous head. He obliterates a weakened, classic-looking predator and eventually succumbs to wounds inflicted by a pair of hardened criminals. In the latest sequel, a shiny armored predator is knocked out and examined by a lab, which determines that he contains pieces of human DNA. He wakes up from the examination and sets out on a kill spree only to be assassinated by a giant, heavily DNA-spliced predator armed with his own pack of hounds. He snatches an autistic boy for DNA harvesting, but after losing his arm, gets taken down by an explosion and a round of bullets, confirming that there's no need to add extra DNA to an already perfect hunting creature. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and hitting thumbs up on this animation. Click the bell icon if you want to be notified as soon as the next animation goes live. And until then, check out Tell It Animated on social media. Oh, and also, steer clear of any predator-infested jungles.